Hi everyone, welcome to Homebrew Wednesday. Um, hope everyone's well. It's my first Homebrew Wednesday for a fair few weeks. Um, only because I'm not really brewing anything at the moment. It's been fairly humid, warm in the UK. Like that's holiday season and people off at work, so you're covering people, the usual paraphernalia. Um, so I'm sort of, my brewing is on hold probably until uh, third week of August, I think, and then I'm going to um, start doing um, stouts, brown owls, and I've got winter warmer um, and uh, a bitter to get on, um, which should be all done for um, October, November time. So it um, gives me stuff to take me up to Christmas and uh, and beyond. But I'm sure if you're anything like me, you've got really loads of it upstairs. It's got to the point now where I need to drink loads to clear room to put the new stuff in. So. Um, I need to get um, need to get drinking and get match fit um, over the next sort of three weeks to uh, to clear some room for it. But um, cheers, everyone! I thought I'd quickly share with you actually um, in this episode some recent purchases, etc. Um, went to Egypt on holiday, summer holidays this year. Pick that up. Look at that; it's quite funky. Little cat doubles up as a bottle opener and a fridge magnet. Uh, also, um, it's the Wilkinson sale, Wilco's is on in the UK at the moment, um, picked up a Kappa, appreciate you know, for those of you who are the aficionados out there, it's only like the entry level basic one, to be honest all of my stuff normally goes in a um, keg um, and pressure barrel and um, I do the occasional ones in pet bottles for beer males and I tend to use a lot of one litre pet bottles as well for my own internal consumption. So got that and also two packs of caps. A, it's in the sale, but also it was like the manager special in the shop. So that was a fiver, five English pounds, and they were 50 pence a packet. And you get in there 50, so a penny each. So that's quite, that's quite good, uh, six pounds for, for all of that lot. Um, also, um, book bookshop in the UK called The Works. Um, this was um, one pound, so that was a bit of a bargain. Um, not, I only had a quick flick in the shop, um, who were misses. Um, but what it tends to be is a bit like a um, Lonely Planet guide to beer. Um, so I'll probably have a read that at some point over the next uh, week or so. I don't know if anyone else has got it and. Uh, wants to send me a message and give me their opinion but picked up that for a pound as well um, shout out to um, mate at work Dino um, not Tube Dino's but Dino from work um, he very kindly bought that in for me which is my local neck of the woods uh, something for me to have a read at work not sure what he's implying um, so that was that and before I go bargain of the week um, as you know um, I've got a series, um, a sister program to this called Thirsty Thursday, where I review um, beers which cost one pound twenty-five or less. Um, I've got maybe I've been quite fortunate recently. Uh, I've probably got about fifteen beers to review yet, which are upstairs in a in a big box, and then I've probably got about seven or eight videos that I haven't uploaded yet, which are on the uh, on the iPad. So um, I've got a few of them to come up. Um, Hands up, I only tend to put one vid up a week of the beer reviews, otherwise I think you get absolutely sick to death of me up every two minutes. Now, I know it's personal preference, a lot of guys do, for instance at the moment, the uh, Smash Off here in the UK and the SJ Poor vids, I mean, it, you know, there's videos up every sort of three minutes at the moment, so I'm um, obviously trying to hang these back and do one a week um as to uh you know so everyone gets a fair crack of the views and um, blah blah blah. Um last but not least, um bargain of the week that ninety nine English pence summer sizzler on sale at um supermarket chain Lidl from as you watch this tomorrow on the uh, on the Thursday you know, on the basis that this goes up for Wednesday. That does it for me everyone, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon and as always I look forward to watching your um, Homebrew Wednesdays and all of the uh, beer reviews going up for the SJ Poor. Um, big uh, thumbs up to everyone who's participated, great job guys, great job on the sponsorship as well and uh, really enjoying all of the uh, reviews and, uh, and the tasting sessions etc. Cheers everyone! Be seeing you. Thanks. Bye.